You might be creating various bootable media using the USB flash disk or traditionally a DVD drive or CD drive. I have also explained you how to use the Pixie Boot. Pixie Boot will help you to boot from the network. Uh, we have seen how to use Iventoy. We'll be using now Ventoy. Ventoy is also similar to Iventoy. Iventoy is for uh, Pixie Boot, but Ventoy is used for the USB bootable media. So I have this. 64 GB USB flash disk and I'll be using this particular disk. It has both the USB type C also and USB 3.0 also. So depending upon where you are going to use this, sometimes I may not have access to the network. So I'll be able to use this. Wintoy, you don't need to format the flash disk over and over again. Whenever you need to install any operating system, you don't need to go through that traditional process of flashing the disk again and again. So you can simply copy and paste the ISO image to the ISO folder. That's it. So I'll be showing you step by step on ventoy.net. So there are 1200 plus images which are available and tested. You can carry it with you. You can go anywhere you want. So we'll be going here to ventoy and we'll click here on download. Here are multiple options uh, in case you are using Windows as in my case I'm using Windows and even you can use the live CD also. You can make the bootable CD or DVD and then you can carry it with you or you can use it on any other server but we'll be going for a Windows version of it. I'll be clicking on download the latest version. Open this folder once it is downloaded. So here we go extract Wintoy. So once you extract the files you will see here Wintoy 1.0.99 these are various files and folders here you have to only worry about the Wintoy to disk this is the option that you are going to use and i have this disk available with me right now i'll just insert into computer disk manager so i'll just go to disk management this is the removable usb flash disk i'll go here e drive you can see here this drive is not accessible all right, so we'll be going to command prompt here or we can directly go to disk part and this part is a command line tool which is available in Windows. So I'll be yes, opening as an administrator and here you can type the question mark sign here. It will give you the list of all the uh, commands that you can use. For example, if I type the question mark, it will give you a list of all the commands that you can use but we'll be using list disk it will give me the list of physical disks which are connected here so disk 0 is internal ssd and i have added another one also which is backing up my primary disk and here i have this 2 which is usb flash disk which i have just shown you we'll be selecting that disk in fact i will be using select disk and space disk 2 so you can see here disk 2 is now selected so if i show you again list disk you will see a star symbol with disk 2 which means that this disk is being selected i can use a command called clean so it will clean everything on this disk and this will become just like a new disk you can see here if i go back to disk partition now you will see that this disk is not being used it is unallocated disk removable disk e drive is there i can now go back to the iventoy or ventoy so you can see here Ventoy to disk. So I'll double click this. It will now load that software, which is Vent to disk. And you can see here E drive 64 GB USB SAN disk. Uh, there are multiple options. Of course, I'm not going to use a backup drive. I'm going to use 64 GB USB SAN disk. And here I'll just install this and it will destroy all the data. So I will do it yes and yes again. Now what will happen? It will create two partitions within the uh, USB flash disk. One will be used as a bootable boot loader or it will use the boot and another one will be used for the ISO images. You can see here that 1.09 Ventoy is in the device right now. In case the version is upgraded, you can just come here and update the version. It will update the latest version. If I go back here now in the disks and here I show you here Ventoy, you can see here Ventoy is right now empty because it has created in fact two disks within this you can see here there are two partitions one is the efi system partition which is 32 mb it is a bootable partition of this particular disk and this disk which is e drive this is empty right now it means that i can add all the iso images suppose i have this proxmox installation media i can copy this and paste it into ventoy 
So here are some ISO images which are available to me. Uh, Windows 10, for example, VMware installer, Ubuntu 20.04, PFSense is there. Then Linux Mint is there, Elementary OS is there, and Core Pure is there. I can have more as well. I'll just for the time being copy these and I'll paste it here in the Vintoy drive here. So this will be USB flash disk. So we'll wait for these all files to be copied and I'll come back to you then. All right, so these are all the files which have been copied here. This was all about Vintoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in next video. Take care and goodbye.